Hello, ladies, gentlemen, beings of vaguer dispositions. Welcome to KSP to Mars. This is episode 7, and I'm Lorenzo. I'll be your host for today. This marks the first post commentary, which means as much that I recorded the video first and then commentated over it. No particular reason to do it that way, apart from that today's episode and mission is fairly simple, and I have people in the room, or old me had people in the room, so I prefer to speak to them instead of you. I'm sorry. So, here we go today. First, uh, if you watched the previous episode, you will recognize the rocket. It's exactly the same. That did not get into orbit, and I propose to fix that today by removing all the payload. So, everything that's, the only thing that's going to orbit today is the probe core with the attached last stage. So, we will get no science points for this, but hopefully there will be some amazing prestige in it for me from you. So, I hope you appreciate this. Now, one thing I want to get out of the way, I've been getting a lot of very nice comments from my subscribers and viewers. I like you very much and I always enjoy seeing your comments and takes on what I do. Uh, so oftentimes, oftentimes, a lot of the times, there are great comments and great ideas in those, uh, those posts. Even recently, Makolo has even made a rocket. Now, I don't have all those parts available yet, but it's nice to see people playing around with the same stuff. If you make a suggestion to me, I'm almost guaranteed to use it, but you will not see that for a long time, because depending on how busy I am or how much I'm enjoying the game, which is a lot at the moment, uh, there will be a, a few episodes made in advance, so your suggestion might already be obsolete or it might be used a little bit further down the line. Nevertheless, they're much appreciated. So. Back to the rocket, we are currently cruising at 11 kilometers and still on the first stage. I hope to unlock science soon that will allow me to do fuel ducts, uh, asparagus staging and of course the bigger engines that will allow me to put an even larger stage underneath something like this. The problem now is that I only have the relatively small LV T30 or 45 engines and they just don't pack enough thrust to make the huge behemoth rockets that are needed to put useful cargo in orbit. Now to see how this plan goes I'm going to skip ahead to the one of the last stages or maybe the penultimate stage because this bit you have seen quite a lot of times already so I will be back on the other side see you there. And indeed there we are the penultimate stage coming up on burnout now and if we look at our speed indicator we are at 2.3 kilometers per second now at an altitude of 125 kilometers almost not quite 124 now so that 125 will be accurate now so great looking at our speed indicator I have a feeling that we need about 7.98 kilometers per second of orbital speed at this altitude to be in orbit. So, judging from that, we have quite a ways to go yet. Fortunately, we have another stage to do that for us, and that will be separated in just a bit while we wait for that progress to happen. Let me comment on what uh, Meikolo again said in one of his comments that uh, basically in the realistic solar system mod that we have here today we need uh, more thrust in our upper stages because when we are out of the atmosphere we are not in fact almost up to orbital velocity we need to impart at least four or five kilometers per second more and of course we want to do this in a timely fashion um, to prevent plummeting back to the planet yesterday's episode and again in a way today's episode does not have that um, because well not, there's no reason for it it's just a, a design oversight and a little bit of necessity because I don't have the useful engines I have this engine and the more powerful but still relatively meager main engines I really want a skipper engine a mainsail engine one of these big ones but alas I don't have them yet so this is why you see this upper stage pointing a little bit upwards to keep altitude basically and that's inefficient we rather would be pointing at the horizon and expanding all the fuel horizontally well, I think engaged four times time warp by now to well shorten this otherwise very lengthy burn if you see it the speed indicator we're almost at 5.5 meters per second and even though this upper stage with the small efficient engine has a lot of delta V it's still going to be very close if we are in fact going to make orbit Again, no science payload, nothing to be gained from this apart from that classic Sputnik moment where we have just something in orbit to prove that we can do it. 
incidentally the process the progress over the last few episodes is quite reminiscent of the the soviet progress they made for the sputnik and there we are look a epoapsis that's outside the atmosphere at a few hundred kilometers and the periapsis at 94 kilometers what i was going to say is that the sputnik team originally had intended for a lot of science payload on their satellite but that ended up to be ended up scrapped because of weight restrictions and they couldn't make it fit on time at least that's what I've been told by a documentary. So we've done the same. We ditched all the science payload and now we just have a probe core in orbit. We are at all just a, just a hair under 8 kilometers per second at 200 kilometers. So that's about the speed we'll be shooting for. And as you can see, our apoapsis is at a handsome 800 kilometers, whereas our periapsis is, a, is as a... Bleh, I'm tripping over my tongue. Whereas our periapsis is at a perilous... 94 kilometers, which is still inside the atmosphere. So just as the original Sputnik did, our watershed moment will not last forever. We will in fact plummet back to the planet sooner or later. But for now, this definitely counts as an orbit. And from here on, we can improve our rocket, improve our space program, improve everything, so that ultimately we will have rockets capable of lifting cargo into space, into orbit, and in fact, that's what we're going to try for next episode. So for now, I'm Lorenzo. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, click like, click subscribe. I can promise there will be a lot more episodes to come and hopefully many great things. For now, marvel and dazzle at the beautiful vista from a orbital probe around the real solar system-sized Kerbin. And it does look a fair bit prettier than the stock game. I think so. Well... I have outstayed my welcome, the video is over, so see you next time, thanks for watching, I'm Lorenzo, goodbye.